Coming up on this week, J.D. Bank sponsors a community engagement project. Thomas Edison is coming to campus. Undergraduate research took center stage last week, and we have part two of our interview with Coach Amanda Clements. Welcome to This Week at LSU Units. I'm Alexis. J.D. Bank has partnered with the LSU We Foundation to support a community engagement project. Eight students and four faculty members have agreed to participate in activities with the campus and community as a way to give back and learn more about civic engagement. Michaela takes a look. Jeff Davis Bank donated $5,000 to the LSUE Foundation to support the community engagement project that will allow students to participate in service learning projects. The first semester of the project will focus on the Eunice Community Garden and a luncheon with a delegation of Louisiana legislatures. Brittany Hewlin, an LSU Eunice student from Crowley, is one of the students participating. Right now we're working on um, bringing awareness to the Eunice Community Garden, and my role in that is just to um, plan, to organize everything, and um, just bring awareness to the garden, because the garden is um, kind of put on the back burner as a community organization. The garden is hosting a fall festival this weekend. Students and their mentors have been working toward making sure the event is publicized and well organized. The four faculty members mentoring the students see the program as an opportunity to expose future leaders to the community work. The benefits are, are, are numerous. I mean, um, what we're working towards is building a healthy, thriving community. And with the successes and with the opportunities and possibilities coming out of our region, it's very important to have the youth involved in helping shape today's and tomorrow's engagement in civic and both community. Um, so hopefully what we want to create is a energetic, contagious atmosphere that alters behaviors to say, hey, Yes, I can be involved, and yes, I can help work towards making a difference. It's huge. St. Landry Parish Economic Industrial Development Director Bill Rodier agrees with Griffith. Rodier said his office is looking for ways to keep young people from leaving the parish, and he said programs like this one will help students to understand the future of the parish and provide students with an opportunity to be a part of that future. The LSUE students will wrap up their engagement work in December and will become ambassadors to the spring class. Back to you, Alexis. Thanks, Michaela. Undergraduate research has been a part of the LSU Eunice campus for almost two decades. Students this year presented their research projects at the annual Undergraduate Research Summer Institute Symposium last week. Students' research varied from economics of crawfish shells to forensic radiology. Seven students presented their research and answered questions about their findings at the symposium. Slimco has become a major sponsor of the ERSI program, and Slimco representatives were on campus to view their research. The knowledge I've learned about bronchial thermoplasty during the ERSI project, it gives me more options as a future therapist if I decide to work as an asthma educator and get my certification in that field, I now know I now have a baseline to start from, and it's increased my interest in asthma treatment. The second event in the Performing Arts series is coming up next week. On Thursday, October 16th, Hank Finken will perform his one-man show about the life of Thomas Edison. Then in 1894, the first copyrighted movie, and I'll do that for you right now. <clears throat> I hope you're ready. <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs> uh, uh, Fred Ott, one of my assistants. And we had the photograph hooked up at the same time, so it was a sound movie. I always knew movies would have sound. And it went like this. How to? Well, that was it. I hope you weren't expecting war and peace. No. Remember, back in those early days, no one had even thought of telling a story. The performance is partially funded by the Campus Activities Board. The performance is free and starts at 6.30 in the Health Technology Auditorium. In November, the Cavern Beat, a Beatles tribute band, will perform. Former poet laureate Daryl Bark read from his new book on the life of Creole musician Amity Ordwin. 
how he lost his mind. In one version, I am the jealous fiddle player, a black man who put something in his whiskey. We were always putting something in the white new moonshine we all drank. As though it needed a kick. New head women's basketball coach Amanda Clemens had many obstacles to face when she took over the program this summer. Clemens was faced with no court to practice on after a leak in the gym roof damaged the floor. Adversity is, is not even strong enough to explain what we've gone through so far because we, we did try to come in here on this floor, but then when it was completely stripped up and everything, we had a lot of shin splint injuries and um, a, lot of, a, a lot of injuries that's, that's happened to us as far as because of the floor issue. Um, and then you're at a time during the season where you're trying to get in shape, where you're trying to work out, where you're trying to um, just get stronger every single day. And it's difficult when you've got to find different places on campus to be able to do that. You know, whether you're going to have to go to the pool or you've got to run around town or you've got to, um, you've, you've got to beg for, uh, for places in the community to be able to go practice. And again, like I said, St. Edge, you know, there's no way that we would have been able to do that. Um, and I mean, it seems like it's never going to get finished, <laughs> but we know, you know, that everybody's working towards it and that it is going to be done and we can't wait. Basketball season starts October 31st and their first home game is November 3rd. That's it for this week at LSU Eunice. We'll be back in two weeks with another look at what's happening around campus.